um, this WSU Cougar X, and I'm in the middle of a project of painting my M561 Gamma Goat to the uh, Winter Verdant Merc, uh, which you saw back on the vehicles back in the mid 70s to early 80s before the three color NATO Kark uh, paint scheme came out. Why am I going with this? Well, I'm going to do an uh, Operation Urgent Fury uh, 82nd Airborne uh, Chibriute Gamma Goat, so it's got to be the correct uh, camouflage pattern. So with that said, uh, I'm in the middle of the paint process. I know it's inevitable. Questions are going to come up as far as um, what did I use for paint? Uh, what did I use to shoot the paint? What did I use to reduce the paint, etc., etc. So before I get started painting the uh, field drab on this thing, uh, I thought I'd make a video to tackle those questions. So let's start off with the uh, the sprayer that I'm using. And for the most part, all this stuff came from Home Depot. So yeah, a lot of you guys are going to be surprised that this is what I'm using for paint. Why am I using this particular gun? Well, in military applications, you want the paint to be as flat as possible. And this gun, it just does a nice textured uh, spray pattern that um, is pretty flat. Um, I can compare the uh, flatness from this gun like a cark-like uh, appearance. You know, it's rough. It'll take the skin off your knuckles, even with this uh, household paint that I'm using. So this is the gun I'm using. This is a, uh, a Wagner Power Sprayer Airless. This particular one is the uh, con Control Spray Double Duty. Now I've painted about five to six military vehicles with this particular gun alone, and it's just, it's just an awesome gun. Just keeps going. Um, as far as paint goes, uh, prep work goes. Uh, in this case, since I'm doing uh, aluminum body Gamma Goat, um, this is what I use to put on the bare aluminum parts. Um, now, self etching primer is outstanding on bare metal surfaces. However, it doesn't really uh, the paint doesn't adhere to it too well. So you're gonna have to use another paint, another primer to put over it, which is the rusty primer. Now, I could probably get away with just using this on the bare aluminum, but I just want to make sure I have uh, optimal adhesion. So there you go. There's the primers. Now, the four colored winter verdant Merc. This is the paint I'm using. Um, like I said, this is all Home Depot paint. This is all the same paint. This is exterior flat, deep base, 4853. Uh, this one has the, the primer in one. It's pretty thick paint. Usually just uh, one to two coats is all it's going to need. Uh, for the Gamma Goat, I took about a gallon and a half of the green, the forest green, for the primary color. So, here's the formulas if you guys want to write this down. Uh, this is the uh, forest green, uh, federal standard 34079. There's the formula. So if you write that down, you can take it in Home Depot and they'll mix it up for you. This is the only one, only paint that is not in the federal standard system that Home Depot can look up. Okay, so this is the one you're going to have to really take this recipe and have it made up correctly. Uh, the second one, this is the brown color. Uh, it's field drab. This is the secondary color on the goat. This one's federal standard 30118. Now this particular one, Home Depot can look this up by the federal standard color. So if you just tell them what that is, uh, they can go into the computer system, look up uh, competitor uh, paint codes, and they should be able to type that in, and this will come out automatically. If not, there's the formula for that. All right, so the next color is the, uh, the sand, which is the tan color. This is uh, Federal Standard 30277. Again, Home Depot should be able to look this up in their computer database under that code. If not, there's the recipe for it. And since there's, you're only going to use small swatches here and there, I decided just to get a small quart size for that for the time being. Next is the black. And this also, Federal Standard 37038. Again, Home Depot can look this up in their computer database and get the right color black through. If not, there's the recipe right there. So, again, these three colors, Home Depot can look up in their computer database. This one, the primary color, the forest green. If you, if you go in there and tell them that you want this color, they will not find it in their computer database. And the forest green that they can't find will be more of a gray color than green. So, did the homework for you? There you go. All right. So let's get going on this paint job. All right, hope this video helps. Um, if there's any other helpful hints that come up, I'll let you know. All right, signing off.